What up, YouTube world? The real Josh Johnson 55. I'm coming at you with another mail day of excitement and goods. Just got home from work, so that's why it's a late one. Four packages. Go in order here. Getting ready to watch a uh, national title game. I have no affiliation to either team, so I don't really care. I believe I bought this off End of Paul on eBay. <clears throat> 2010 Tops USA. AJ Venegas. Triple patch auto. Three color, two color, three color. This is numbering. Fourteen of fifty. Nice addition to the old Venegas PC, which I haven't really picked up much of because it goes way too much. I think I know what this one is too. As you can see off to the right, no more Christmas stocking. Christmas tree is down. Hooray. Hooray for the team. Yeah. Like a good friend of mine says, that's the wife's job. I did not even know this was out. It came out in 2008. I did not know it was out. I'm sad about that because this is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man. <clears throat> I think it's got 260 pages or so, 240. So this is something I will read probably more than once. And I got this for a buy it now one thirty nine plus whatever three bucks shipping, so four and a half dollars for that book. Super stoked about that. Yes, I can read. Since he's coming up for twins, the caravan, figured I actually have something nice for him to sign. Probably get it to Naomi, but uh, Matt Caps, 8x10. I don't know where I'd have him sign it. Either up here, maybe in below his crotch. And he's left his card in back, maniacjoe.com. Got this off eBay. I think it's like a five dollar thing, but I figured <clears throat> I've got autos and balls of like the couple balls, Aaron Hex, Gibson, uh, Ben Revere. So I figured I need something different. Nice photo. Get some eight by tens for the whenever. Okay. I think I know what this is too, I think. Calflesh Chris, what's up? See what order I can go in. Uh, 
six DVDs shoot interviews off of uh, and Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor did them was it 04, 05? 04, 04, 04. All 04. So Straight Shooting was a series that they had. I had one of them, but I picked it up. The only one I didn't get out of a lot, or the guy was selling, was uh, Kamala. So, oh, I wanted to see that because he's not from Uganda. He's not a headhunter. I want to say now he drives trucks, like big rigs. He's from Memphis, I believe. I believe that was a creation of Jerry the King Lawler. First up is Dr. Tom Pritchett, who is the brother of Bruce Pritchett, who is who has the character of Brother Love. And I believe it's like a, I want to say he used to be, he might possibly still be a behind the scenes dude for WWF. He used to be like a booker and a road agent. I've already got this one, but for the price and for my love of him, I had to get it again. Teresa's favorite. George Gray, a.k.a. Team, a.k.a. The One Man Gang. Hey. On the back, it's good. I know, this one is a good one. It went through all... He was sort of in character when he was doing like the interview. From like One Man Gang. They talked about the Akeem thing, and just, he, he wasn't for it, but uh, that Vince, he's like, hey, a check's a check, I'm going to wrestle, whatever. And then it got better, obviously, with the Twin Towers facing the Mega Powers and that storyline there. <coughs> Next up watched early 90s WCW. Uh, you saw him, this character, a lot in like their lightweight matches with Brian Pillman. He also faced uh, Jericho, Eddie Guerrero, Benoit. All the top lightweights are the little guys out there. Shushin Thunder Liger. And if you don't know him, I mean, it's pretty much... Um, Speaking about financial terms, right? Huh? Yeah. So next up, uh, another high flyer type dude. I want to say the 450 splash is his finisher. Wrestled in WWF, wrestled in ECW, wrestled in WCW. Too cold, Scorpio. And then next one, manager, former WWF tag team champion with uh, Mr. Saito, and I want to say late 70s, early 80s. Um, one of my favorite managers of all time. Managed Demolition, managed um, Powers of Pain, uh, Orient Express. Uh, who else? Drawing a blank, but WWF Hall of Famer. Mr. Fuji. Last one. I figured this would be interesting because it takes you from a female perspective to one of the biggest promotions for the shortest amount of time um, and I figured she'd have the most insight of one of the valets in ECW <coughs> the lovely Francine so it'd be interesting to hear her stuff about uh, like when Raven or even crucified Tommy Dreamer, was it? <clears throat> I don't know if she was there then, and just all the different angles and stuff they went with. 
But there it is. Some DVDs. A trading card. An 8x10. Soon to be autoed within a week. And then the Million Dollar Man. I read a reviewer, somebody had an excerpt on eBay in their auction about it. And I'd buy it anyway because it's tend to be awesome, but it was an interesting, interesting read there, just that little excerpt. So there it is, YouTube. Excitement personified. Take your easy, and if she's easy, if she's easy, the Prince Wise.